and welcome back to the One Planet Challenge. Uh, we're having a fun time. We're currently uh, bombing the enemy into submission, as well as uh, taking the worlds that uh, they formerly have declared their home, and they will soon be ceding to other empires. Which is fine by me. The Regalian Unity will most likely have uh, good fun with that. Oh, good lord. The retreat button and the... The retreat button and uh, getting troops off of the planet is the same button. It's a bit of a bit of a awkward design thing, kind of like uh, trying to turn that off. Anyway, uh, 14k, so we need 15 more k in order to get the science nexus maxed out. It looks badass though. Here, hold on, let me let me do something here. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's do some floaty stuff here. Oh boy. Yeah, make, make it look good. Make it look good. Ah, oh, so good. A little bit, little bit quicker this time around. War is continuing anyway, so I'm not particularly worried about that. Yeah, the Science Nexus is just a badass piece of engineering, not gonna lie. It's like even the textured fidelity is like super good for something that has details on it that you would probably never see. Look at that. It's a singularity, I guess. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, it looks badass, not gonna lie. Oh, 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 there we go. Yeah. Especially if you put this in orbit around like a gas giant with rings, it looks particularly badass, not gonna lie. Anyway, let's uh, head back towards this uh, War of Mine, which is also a great game, which you should play. Are we still are we chasing the fleet? Okay, cool. Um... Oh wow, this is actually kind of unity output per vassal per subject increases. So right now we're getting 96, 107. It's 10, 10 more, and the next one in 62 months, which is going to be a colonial viceroys, followed by fleet levies, or well, maybe fleet levies. I'm considering it. Let's put it that way. Where are you going? You are trying to jump out? I, I, it's, they just like they can do whatever they want, I guess, but. Like, they literally don't have any ability to do anything. They don't have any transport ships. Like, we're gonna win this war, regardless. And we're gonna move these this territory to... Is it the consciousness I'm uh, going for? Hold on. To the Regarian Hive, which is all the way down here. And no longer will the Reavers be a problem. Or at least a worry amongst the species of the galaxy. Mm. A little cup of tea right there. Let's get into orbit. Let's have some robot music in the background. Let's uh, let's make this look badass, shall we? There we go. There they are. The allies are here. Let's commence bombing operations. Oh, 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 and I clipped through. Oh, that's a shame. Still, though, this planet's gonna feel the brunt of it. Look at that. Those are some huge ass explosions. <laughs> like, entire landmass is being annihilated right there. Oh, well. That's unfortunate. Which is funny, considering most of the time the game looks like this. Uh, Ministry of Benevolence, we don't really need it. We don't have any unrest in our empire. At least not within our normal population. Okay, how many armies do we have in the ground? That's it? We can easily take this. This is not an issue. We may as well just race through this war a little bit. Because this is not going to last very long. They only have their... Militia forces. Ground invasion force has seized a planet. Which means that we can very rapidly take everything away from them. Plus, we got jump drive, so we can just happily bounce around anywhere we want. Okay, plus 19. So let's uh, get a couple of resources in here. They make zero continuity. Uh, they are question mark because they are weirdos. Let's get some minerals in here. 26. Very close to finishing off the, uh, the science nexus. Giga cannons, good. 
Let us increase our mineral income. 17 months. Enemy vessels. Oh no, missiles. What will I do? Oh no, they're exploding before they can even get close to our ships. What a surprise. Uh, this also means that uh, our ships are ready to be retrofitted into the designs that we want. The so torpedo bows we want to keep. So let's get the gauze cannons on there. The mule, really important stuff, is on the battleships. Extra large slot, slot. Let's get large weapons and another large weapon slot. This is all going to be kinetic artillery and one a giga cannon. There we go. And we've got uh, better combat AI as well, so... Uh, we just kind of want to get rid of this stuff. Uh, let's just auto it, actually. There we go. These are all going to be torpedoes. Uh, with some auto cannons, because they are going to be fighting at point blank range. Uh, let's get some energy credits and edict duration modifiers. Yes. How are we doing with this war? Yeah, we're very close. <laughs> and they're still just trying to ah, force has bomb them from the orbit. He's like, yeah, it's not going to work, boys. It's a shame, but uh, that's not the world we live in, I'm afraid. The the night is dark and full of terrors, etc. I mean, won't we able to even be able to get them to seed all their worlds? Yeah, we can add a couple more cruisers here. Because of the way our cruisers are laid out, it's pretty staggeringly, really, the amount of damage that we can do. Like, if the Unbidden arrive, you want to switch completely to Kinetic. Uh, they are very, very weak against Kinetic. At least as soon as you pierce their shields, they're basically gone. Let's just get the troops on the ground. This is nothing. Nothing our boys in space cannot handle. Let's take him down, boys. Ground invasion force has seized the planet. Do we have enough for war score? Yes, we do. And yeah, that's the best possible outcome. Let's see the fleet home. Uh, actually, now that we're here, we may as well do this. Like it's not not an optimal. It's it's a better use of our time. We are sated to the hunters over for now. Well, that's nice. You have literally two more planets remaining. Make that three. You got another one down here, but receiving yeah. communications. What do you want? Ooh, okay, that's bad. We've discovered a stellar devourer. I do not want to engage a Stellar Devourer. Um, let's actually cancel some of these. There we go. And then we can max out our, our Science Array. We'll produce 225 in the end. So. Vessels destroyed. Oh god, we sent, we sent the fleet out towards Stellarite instead of the, <laughs> the one that we wanted to go for. Uh, that's annoying. No worries, we can still build another cruiser just to replace that. It's already been replaced. Oh, very EVE Online of you, a spec. Yes, I know, right? Minerals plus five. Let's get some Stormfire Auto Cannons in there, not that we need them. Uh, maybe if we do some Corvette stuff. What kind of torpedoes have we put on these Corvettes? Uh, scientists. Rocketry. God damn it, I want Psionic. Give me a Psionic Scientist. Because then I can push into the Shroud. And that'd be amazing. Construction complete. Okay, so the fleet is on standby. This is the system I wanted to go into. Because I'm an idiot. Let's uh, hope nobody has tried to kill it already. Because if that's the case, it will automatically explode once we defeat it. And that would be annoying, to say the least. Technology secured. Uh, somebody's already attacked it. It's already on standby. Uh, we're gonna lose. It's gonna blow up. Guaranteed. 
It's, yeah, we're... Yeah, it's gonna die. It's gonna explode and there's nothing we can do about it. That's really annoying. Situation log updated. Oh. Situation log updated. Yeah, exactly. So it doesn't matter. Uh, it's bugged, sadly. So it's stuck. So we're not going to get any cool stuff out of that. Let's send the fleet home for upgrades. That was the Enigmatic Fortress, everybody. Uh, from Leviathans. Always, always fun to see that. Let's get some more cruisers. The Stellarite Devourer, though. Hmm. It gives me... Doesn't the Stellarite give you a trophy? Oh, that's only for militarist empires, I think. And we are definitely not militarists. Resinophiles, egal egalitarians, materialistic. Hmm. The Saban Reavers. That's, that's cute. Uh, we're just gonna add more cruisers to our stuff. How are our vassals doing, by the way? Oh, good lord. These guys do not like us anymore. Oh, you want some food? Have some food. I don't want food. How about minerals? You want minerals? Yes. Yeah, I have ten minerals. So some gargantium more. Oh, they don't want gargantium more? Okay. Uh, fair enough. Okay, let's make him happy again. The consciousness, though, that is bad. Uh, the relative power of subjects is an issue. Their disloyalty may cause some problems in the short term. Because if they're not quick enough, then they may rise up against us. Which is also why I'm f trying to flesh out our fleet a little bit. Uh, Vassal acculturation is helping a little bit, but Colonial Viceroys followed by Fleet Levies and Protection Rackets should really fleshen things out a little bit. And there's really no modifiers in the game that basically say, hey, you want to, you know, Technology secure. fix your Vassal opinion? Well, I wish I could. Okay, so the fleet is currently waiting to upgrade. Technology secure. Let's just cancel this cruiser. Ministry of the Benevolence. Um, let's put an edict duration modifier on there. Okay, to two years, and we're gonna have a maxed out nexus. That's uh, in three episodes, by the way. That's from starting to b trying to build it to finishing up uh, the science nexus. That's huge. The science nexus itself got a huge buff in one point eight as well. I think it used to only max out at. I think it maxed out 150 before, but now it's 225 when maxed out. You get a lot more resources for it. Uh, so it's arguably exceptionally good. I would like to see a couple more things in terms of um, some uh, Huth Empire. Okay. 51k. So we literally just added like 20,000 fleet power to our fleet. I guess that's nice. Let's quickly take a look at our Corvettes. Yeah, we need to upgrade all of our ships again anyway. To take, make use of the new thrusters. But aside from that, the ship design-wise, we are effectively done. Uh, you need a new thruster design. Yeah, it's cheap. Technology secured. And from this moment this onwards, we're just going to keep on stacking our repeatable techs, like high-density munitions and stuff like that. It's it's going to run out of control really quickly from this moment onward. I'm actually kind of curious. Does this count as a psionic scientist? Maybe. That'd be kind of useful, though. I really hope that is the case. And at this stage, we may actually start thinking about building space NSA in this system. Uh, we can't build it in our capital system. We can't have more than one in uh, the same system, sadly. But let's go and... Wait, what's going on over here? Let's go and kill the Stellarite. We're going to lose a little bunch of ships because of the Stellarite laser. But... 
The enigmatic fortress has recovered from our initial assaults. That's nice. It's also very, very dead. <laughs> Let's for shits and giggles take a look at the system. Vaman, I think it was called. Yeah. Um, let's not do it that way, in case it's still there. And we can take out the Stellarite. We should not have any problems with that. It's a specter as if we see them. That's the problem. Secured. Weapon damage plus five, so... Weapon attack speed. We're, we've swapped now from missiles to kinetic weapons anyway, so... At least most of the kinetic weapons. A bunch of torpedoes, etc. Let's take this friggin' Stellarite out of commission. One cruiser down. Two cruisers down. Oh, dear God. Okay, come on. Kill the stupid thing. Shoot your Devastator missiles at it. Like, we're eating shit right now. Which is unfortunate. But it's not in point blank range yet, so. Oh, there comes the laser. Those all one shot. Technology secured. Let's make this uh, look cool, shall we? Because we have the technology. Oh, that's a little bit too much. It's amazing how detailed this game is. Especially considering there's a lot of stuff you would never, ever see. Wow, we actually lost 10,000 fleet power against the Stellarite so far. That's kind of staggering. <laughs> Let's hope this is not going to cause any problems with our, uh, with our vassals. Let's fix that problem as soon as we can. Uh, habitability? No, 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 no. Leader, uh, leader lifespan. Okay. Okay, the Stellar Devourer has been vanquished. It remains curled up and evaporated, only leaving its digestive system and stellar matter it contains. Our science team has urged us to examine the remains. Let's study the corpse. Updated. Bye. Thanks for coming. Um, let's send the fleet home. We did lose a bunch of fleet power there, which is unfortunate. But the science nexus is complete. Hurrah! Today we celebrate the grand opening of the Science Nexus. With the state-of-the-art research facilities and innovative technology, we have no trouble attracting the greatest minds from across the Empire or even the universe, should we so desire. This feat truly marks the beginning of a new era of enlightenment, a big day for our kind. There's a bunch of events attached to it as well uh, that can randomly pop up, with like scientists disappearing, etc. Jesus Christ, we've got so much tech. It's kind of ridiculous. Alright, so the Stellar Devourer being researched. How are we doing with our vassals here? Oh dear. You want some minerals? Have some minerals. You want minerals? Yeah, it's barely gonna do it. How about food? Food is nothing they want. Gargantium ore. They don't want Gargantium ore. Energy is really all I can give you. It's a good thing we got a lot of it. Here, I have 20 of each. Okay. Special project complete. Studies of the Stellar Devourer's shining remains... Uh, Shining remains have left our scientists perplexed and amazed. The star-feasting being is itself a miniature fusion for furnace, harvesting solar matter to synthesize an energy source of its own. Since the body still contains significant amount of solar matter from the star at the Mesa system, uh, the one it last fed from, it could be possible to extract the energy and reinvigorate the star. Harvesting the corpse's heat for our own ends could satisfy our energy needs in the short term. But the system... Doom the system to an eternal ice age. Let's, uh... Is it in my space? No. Let's just harvest the materials. We don't really care about those Xenos. Let's reinvest them immediately in new cruisers. Worrying. More worrying.
Most worrying. Yeah, I may have overdone it a little bit with our vassal size. Because they are starting to get a little bit rowdy. And we don't want to have that. So, I'm kind of annoyed by the fact, yeah, because we're not militarists, so we don't get the thingy, so. Who? The nation of Tajunka Lunka. What? When did that happen? When do you guys swap? Because you became xenophile? You still have, like, the militarist background, so... Interesting. I still have no... I, actually, I did not check how many ships we lost. We probably lost, like, two battleships and, like, ten cruisers during that. Let's hope that wasn't the case. The re What's going on here? Regarian Hive and the... Sub oh, okay. Regarian Hive is what I gave them. Right. The Suthid Hegemony is big. Yes. I like how small, our, how compact our territory is. It's actually kind of silly, really. Especially considering, well, we are basically a fortress world. Uh, the consciousness is insulting us. That is really not good. That is not good at all. Even though the trust cap is really high. But they will try to rise up sooner or later. Don't want to go against him more. You can give him a research agreement, I guess. But Technology secure. Okay, so that's the biggest of our protectorates, at least appeased for now. So we can build a larger fleet to crush them in one fell swoop. And it should at least give all the other vassals something to think about before uh, they try anything stupid. Anyway, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here. Um, so far, so good. Uh, it's currently 2320. We got our science nexus up and running. Our fleet is rapidly expanding. We've got the highest amount of tech in the game, pretty much, in terms of our... Uh, we're basically doing the whole... Uh, repeatable text now, uh, which is gonna make our fleets completely run out of control. Once we have fleet levies, which is in 49 months, we will be able to boom our fleet to at least a 500 lit navy cap, which is not bad considering we've got one planet. But anyway, that's gonna wrap it up here. Until next time, take good care of yourselves and as always, each other.